let's create a static dashboard. Now, just as a quick review, static and dynamic dashboards are different. Dynamic dashboards take their contents from the context that you've selected in the Explorer. So right now my context is my network and I'm looking at a summary dashboard. If I change my context here in the Explorer, the dashboard will update accordingly. Static dashboards don't have a context. They're only visible from the My Network view right here. So they're only visible in the list of dashboards. If you look at your list right here, you'll only see the static dashboards when you're on My Network. Now let's create a dashboard that is focused on components and devices and issues that I've got in New York. So to do this, let's go down to the dashboard configuration and select create a dashboard. Now, because I'm focused on New York, let's rename this as New York. You can call it anything that you want. You can put a description in accordingly, and you can change the icon type. I'll just leave these as defaults. The key to focus on is the dashboard type. I'm going to change this to static. Now, remember to set your access control. In my case, I'm just going to give administrators access to this dashboard. Let's hit done. And I've now got a new open canvas that I can add dashlets into. The name of the dashboard is New York. And I'm going to add my first dashlet. And that's going to be just a list of open incidents. So I'm going to add the incident dashlet right here. This is the incident list. There's many dashlets that are available out of the box. I'll select this. I'll keep the standard name. But the key is the dashlet source. Now, because I want to focus on New York, I'm going to change the focus of this dashboard to a fixed object. So I've got the ability to browse and actually focus on specific incidents. And the way I do that is just by selecting the view that I want to focus on, and that's going to be the New York headquarters view right here. I'm going to keep the parameters as a default. If you want some help on selecting some of these additional parameters, just select the help icon up here and this will take you into the help center and give you an explanation of what, what each one of these parameters can do. So I'm going to select done and I'm going to resize this because I need to add some more dashlets into this dashboard. That looks pretty good. Let's add another dashlet. So the next one I want to add in is going to be a map. Now there's another way to actually set the fixed object for this. So I'm going to change the dashboard source to fixed object. And I could browse to the New York headquarters view here. Or I'm going to take another method and actually drag the view and the, the New York headquarters view into this as a selection. And the way that I'm going to do that is by setting up another browser window. So I've gone out of full screen for this browser. And I've actually got another browser window set up side by side. The way that I can populate this is actually drag and drop. So I can go into the Explorer. I'm going to go down to my network and I'm just going to select this and hold the mouse button and drag this into this definition right here for the dashlet. There I've actually got a New York headquarters view as a fixed object. I'm going to select done. Now either one of these methods work. You can browse it or you can drag it from another browser window. Let's go back into full screen mode here and add another dashlet. The last dashlet is going to be the device status because I want a summary of all the devices and their current states for the New York view. So again, I'm going to pick the source. I'm going to go down to fixed object. I'm going to browse in this case over to my office and to the New York headquarters view. Let's preview this. And I've now got a focus on New York with a brand new dashboard called New York. Let's save it, exit preview and exit this. You'll see I've got New York as a brand new dashboard. It's accessible to just the administrators. And now if I go back to the My Network view and look at the summary dashboard, because I'm focused on the My Network view as my context, I can actually see a brand new New York dashboard. 